Hi my little brushflies and welcome back to my channel Brushfly MUA. My name is Mercedes, I am the face behind Brushfly MUA. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're not new here, have you already pushed it? If not, why not? Make sure you do. It all helps me, I'm a fairly new makeup channel so I need all the love and support I can get. All of it would be much appreciated. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I absolutely love Makeup Revolution. They are one of my favorite brands. So it appears a lot on my channel. And obviously the Friends Times Revolution collection was a big hit and one that I had to get myself. So I hope you enjoy. As you can see, it was snowing as well. So I thought what better day to test out the Friends open the door eyeshadow palette because it has that gorgeous silver shade in there which to me looks very snowy and beautiful so here i am looking very crazy with some funky dunky headband wiggly things yep and here is the palette now i absolutely love the packaging it's super friends super cute and actually quite a lot of Revolution Times Friends makeup has this sort of design packaging on it. It's really cute. So you get a nice mixture of shades. They actually really give me Jeffree Star sort of palette vibes. It's just a really nice looking and intriguing palette. There's a mixture of metallics and mattes. So now let's swatch them. So the first one is Whiskerson, then we have Java, the one where Scientist Guy, Orthodontist, Maple Candy, Manhattan, I Take Thee Rachel, Big White Dog, Eggplant, and Cups and Ice. Then on the other arm, we have Birthday Flan, Dr. Drake Ramaray, Frank Jr. Jr., Mac and Cheese, Fancy Guest, I'm Fine, Moana, The List, Prom Video, and Apocryphery Table. Oh my god, I can't even say that word. Apocryphery Table. <laughs> oh my god, no, can't say it. I'm done. Okay, so I'm going to go in with some shades that I really like, but let's zoom in first. So you lucky guys get to see me up close. Poor you. So I've already primed my eyes, so let's just dive straight in with Eggplant, which is the Illuminous Pink shade, which is so pigmented. It's absolutely beautiful and amazing. But I do believe it's one of the pressed pigment shades because it stains like mad. I'm editing this and sitting here with still pink eyes. Rather glamorous in my pyjamas. But yeah, it's a really beautiful shade and if you want something that really pops, this is it. So the next shade I go in with is the purple shade which is Dr. Drake Ramaray. So this is not as pigmented as eggplant, but it is buildable, so you can make it a darker purple if you want. I didn't mean to take it as high up as I do with this look, but actually in the end it all blends together nicely and I'm quite happy with the look. It does take a little work though, this shade, but it is worth it in the end. So now I go in with my Revolution Concealer. This is the one I use for cut creasing just because it's quite a heavy duty concealer. So for me, it's the best one to use. It just makes everything pop a bit more when it's on top. So yeah, I like this one. So now I go in with the silver shade Big White Dog. This is a gorgeous metallic shade. It's super silver pigment. It's absolutely stunning. I absolutely love it. 
And with a snow day, how could you not put silver on when it's a snow day? I mean, it just looks snowy and glittery and beautiful, so had to be done. So next I go in with some Manhattan, which is a really nice pink metallic shade. I actually thought I'd take the Rachel would be a brighter pink, but it's not Manhattan swatched as the brighter metallic pink, so that's the one I went for. Again, stunning, love it. So. Now I go back in with a bit of eggplant just to sort of brighten the pink back up and tidy up any metallic -y mess. And just because I love the pink. So now I go in with I Take the Rachel because it is a lighter metallic pink. It's perfect for inner corner highlight. Then I grab some eggplant and I go under my lash line just to marry it all together. If you watch my videos, you know that I like doing this. And for some bright pink lipstick, why not? So what are my final thoughts on this palette? I absolutely love this. If you're a Friends fan or just a Makeup Revolution fan, you need this in your life. And for the price point, which was £20 for the palette, I think it's actually really good value for money. It's a nice big palette, beautiful design, beautifully pigmented, really gives me Jeffree Star vibes. It, I have to say it really does especially the pressed pigment pink shade you know i've got the mini jewel breaker it just reminds me of that the only downside is the weird little hinges that sort of hold it together they get in the way a little bit and make it a bit difficult to open and close sometimes but you know you can work around that and it's not the end of the world so yeah i love it so that's the end of this video if you enjoyed it let me know give me a thumbs up and take care my brush flies and speak soon. Bye.